Okay, my wonderful friends, I have been showing this chunk of rock for a while now and claiming that it is a membrane, plural. This is the fluid-filled highway and this is the upper layer of membrane, the lower layer of membrane. And in this particular case, this came from what I believe was a lung. And these little round holes down here, you see these little round spots? That's right where it starts to get into the pleura, which is all these little round holes in a lung. When you get down into the pleura, I mean past the pleura, you're into this. And that's what you're seeing there. And in the microscope, I can even see the little fabric bags. Because this is nothing more than, than a big rubber bag it goes around your lung. Pleura is is the elastic and so forth. The elastic fibers, lymph. You know. Now here it is. It's this is exactly how it would sit in the body. That's where the the um, alveoli is down here. This is where that stuff is right here. The visceral pleura. This is the fluid-filled highway. The pleural space. You see it. And the top part is the parietal pleura. And then you get into this stuff, which is mucus, which coats, all your organs are coated with a layer of, of, of mucus. It's just a gooey layer that wraps around. This is that. I'm almost certain of it. Now, I'm actually am certain of it because of the uh, alveoli. It's actually pretty easy to see. This is the fluid-filled highway, which is the pleural space. These two spots are the, the visceral and the parietal pleura. The top is, is like a mucous membrane that, that coats it, just gooey stuff. And then you get down into the, the alveoli, and that's why they look round like this. You see them? Those are the alveoli. Now here's what a lung does look like, and they don't have it in very good detail. I gotta be honest with you, this book is usually much more detailed than this, but if you see that little strap around here, this, uh, hold on. You should be able to see enough right there. Now, this right here, whoops. This is the pleura, and it wraps right up around the alveoli, and those alveoli are what I just showed you, are those little round circles. And it wraps around the whole lung, so I don't know where we are, but it is that pleura right where it attaches to the lung. And in between, there's all kinds of layers. This doesn't show very well at all. But in that stripe going up the side, there's a, a, hundreds and hundreds of layers. As you saw right here, quite clearly, there is a zillion layers right there. If you look at this in a the microscope, there's literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of layers. You see them as a layer, 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 but in each one of those layer, layer, layers, there's layer, 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 layers. So there's a lot of layers. And then there's your, your alveoli. That's what it is. Now this was sent to me by, good, by my good friend Greg Morrison. And he also sent me this which is an artery and a better shot is here in the microscope where where did i put it here it is right here that's what i just showed you right there that's you know it's that size this is the artery walls all the way until we get into the endothelium which is what they say marijuana damages and uh and that would be somewhere, here it is, 
See, this is the endothelium. And again, I have a whole ton of questions. Well, how does it damage it? What's supposed to keep it from being damaged? Is there any bacteria or enzymes involved? But this is what an artery looks like. I just showed you the size of the artery. And I showed you this has, has actually got the alveoli under here. So I think he got these from the same spot. I don't know, to be perfectly honest with you. But I, I, I could see this servicing tissue that size. In us, that would be very small. Very, very small. So there's, you know, at least hundreds of times difference. So I don't know how much further to go with this. But we want, I do want to look at what the chemistry is and the enzymes and the bacteria and if there's any changes in the, in the gut-brain axis chemistry between somebody that smokes and inhales burning particulates. Because when you do that, that that's an energy bomb, basically. When you burn something, there's going to be an, an instant there that the things are going to be on the edge of being stable to some degree. Possibly. <laughs> I, I, this, that, that stuff is a guess. I don't like to guess. But there's, if there's something different between the smoker ones and the non-smoker ones and it causes a problem with the endothelia, but both of them cause a problem with with, you know, your, uh, I don't know exactly what they say the problem is that marijuana causes. Let's just take a look at it again. Because, uh, you know, what their actual claim is, I got to find it, hold on. Okay, I'm 100% certain now that this is a lung. Now, my fingers here, you're going to see for a size perspective. The microscope is up here. We're looking down. Now, here it is up in the display. I have to turn the lights off so we can see it well. Now, this will take a second to home in. All right. So, you saw my finger here. Every one of these little round balls is an alveoli. In us, you wouldn't even see those. And th this is the black blood, and that's the red blood seeking in and moving through these holes. And there, you know, there's a whole lot of them. It's not just one here, one there, they're everywhere. Because now we've cut through the outside layer into the alveoli structure. And this just happens to have the vein and the artery at the same area. Because they move, they have to transpire, trans, transpire, basically, and move from one to the other. Now, right there, I think that's like little fuzzy stuff. There's, there's a lot of little rubbery fibers in here, and they're still in here. All of these are still like little rubbery fibers that kept everything apart. Now don't forget, that's what we were just looking at. Now let me show you again down in where it came from. is right there. And that side is the side that has the alveoli, which you see. And then the membrane, which is really the pleura. sits above it, exactly what the pleur shows, and then on top of that is the mucosa. That is the outside casing of the lung, and so is this. Same stuff. Only this died, and some, you know, it was here, and they cut it, I, you know. Like, again, I think it was Greg Morrison sent me this, and the giant blood vessel. And I think he probably got them at the same place. I, I would think they would fit pretty close together, the same size, but, you know, who knows.